and welcome back to my channel. Uh, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, I was thinking about a topic for today and the topic of today is gonna to be about the federal employee oath. So today we'll be discussing one of the mandatory things that uh, every federal employee uh, must uh, complete uh, before embarking on their career. This is called the federal employee oath. So after you have um, completed all your onboarding process and um, you fill out all your forms and you're ready to start working, you have to take this off and this is usually done on the first day. Uh, before we get into the topic, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe uh, where we put it out new videos every week. Um, so before we jump into this, I want you to think about it. Uh, why do you think we take the oath? Um, if you have any views or opinions um, on why you think we should or should not uh, uh, take the oath, uh, please go ahead and leave the description so that way we can kind of continue to, to blog uh, on your remarks. On the first day of employment, the one of the very first forms that you're going to need to fill out is called the SF-61. Um, this will remain in your personnel file for your entire career. Um, this file um, is your employee personnel file. This is an electronic file that you will maintain um, your entire career. This is where to keep all your, your employment forms, uh, promotions, and everything else. So be familiar with that uh, acronym, the EOPF file. So let's go over the oath in detail. And I'm going to read it um, line by line so I don't miss anything. So it will start with I, and you'll state your name, Anthony Blackman. Uh, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office in which I'm about to enter, so help me God. Hmm. If you're going to enter federal service, it should be taken very seriously. And in my professional opinion, every federal employee should and will and shall be held to a higher standard. I think the oath is very straightforward. Um, and maybe you might see it differently than I do, but I think it's pretty straightforward. Number one, I see that the, the, the oath has three important and significant parts. It says that every employee swears to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, but you're working for the federal government. So you would hope that you would have some obligation to something, right? So at least believe in something. You swear allegiance to the Constitution in which you about to uh, allege that commitment to, right? And then the employee promises to do his or her job well. I'm not going to beat up this uh, little topic today. It's pretty simple. I just wanted to share the oath, kind of let you know that if you're coming into the federal government, that oath is critically important that you're swearing, uh, affirming that you're going to be committed to doing your job and doing it well, and you will be committed to defending the Constitution of the United States, uh, especially um, the, those that have a secret clearance and above understand that you will shall be held to a higher standard. We're not the average citizen. Uh, we're committed and because we are working for the government, people look at us a little bit differently. The one thing I learned being in the law enforcement arena and working for the federal government, you can do 5,000 things right. You do one thing wrong and you're crucified for it. Uh, we're not perfect human beings by any means of imagination, but we have to believe in doing the right thing even when others think that we're not. Well, I'm not gonna beat the topic up. I hope you found this short video informative. As I always say, this is not all inclusive. Um, this is just a, a topic that I wanna share uh, because I do have clients that are uh, looking to join the federal government and I try to put out information that I think will be helpful for them and, and beyond. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any additional comments or questions about this topic, uh, don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section below. Please have a safe and enjoyable day, and thanks for watching.